All right, what's up, boys and girls? Got a part 13 here today. Um, I'm not going to take too long on the intro like I did last week. Uh, just going to get right into it. Quick uh, couple of shout outs. Uh, number one to Marty Weed. I told them I would give them a shout out. They're always cool. They're always saying hi and, you know, always asking how I'm doing and stuff. So shout out to you, Marty. Uh, shout out to Sasha for the thumbnail. He gave me this one a couple of weeks back and I put it away because I knew I was going to use it at some point. So definitely like this one. And um, shout out to Forever Chillin'. Forever Chillin' left me a very nice uh, message last week right after I, I put part 12 out and sent me something on PayPal as well. Very generous. And sometimes it makes me a little uncomfortable to take that kind of money. But, you know, just they sent me a real nice, nice message with it and just essentially said that they listened to all my videos uh, they're, I think, retired Air Force, he said, and just to keep putting them out. So hopefully you'll like this one, man. I think I did a really you know, good job putting this one together. It's going to be a long ass video. So hopefully you enjoy it, brother. Thank you for the contribution. Uh, thank you to everybody that became a member. You know, thank you for the subs, the likes, uh, comments, everything. It all helps. And the channel's growing. So, you know, it's fucking growing. That's all I can say. Uh, we got three people to get into today. We're going to start with uh, Snow Carl, um, some very interesting, some very interesting stuff with Snow Carl. Uh, I didn't cover any of this year. I left that way purposely in case we do a part two on him and I need new, new material and stuff in case something happens. I have plenty to work with. Um, shout out to Piece of Peace because he gave me his total number since, since Phil got departnered. He's been keeping up with numbers. So I got Snow Carl's final number as far as what he's getting. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. Uh, second, we're going to go back, back in time. Not too far back, but we're going to go about two years or so to DJ Runo. And if you were around during that time, you already know where this is going. But we got DJ Runo for part two. And then we're going to finish it with the highly requested Timbo Slice. And got some some stuff to say about him, a couple of theories, and uh, that's how we're going to end it. So unless I'm forgetting something, let's go ahead and get on into it. All right. And I think I did forget to say something, actually. I think Forever Chilling is not retired. I think they're active. So, you know, I don't want to misspeak on him like that. I think he's still active Air Force. Um, and I also forgot to say thank you for people that did Super Chats last week. I fucking forgot. So thank you to everybody who did a Super Chat. I'm going to premiere this. Thank you very much if you give a super chat this week as well. I just forgot to say those two things. I need to also set up this with Snow Carl. So this is the very first interaction between Snow Carl and DSP. And in this clip, DSP essentially accuses, well, maybe not accuses, but he throws the accusation, throws shade at Snow Carl and accuses him of being somebody else. When I heard this, I completely forgot about this clip. I don't know if I didn't remember or I'd never heard it before. But when I heard this, it kind of clicked and it made me think this is probably who he fucking is. And I've done a video on this guy already. I'm, I can't say 100% for sure whether he is this person, but let's go ahead and listen to it and find out what we got. At uh, You make a new account and you start over. All right. Thanks for the dollar tip. All right. Uh, Snow... Carl tip me a dollar and uh no I'm not making up with third eye and by the way you're probably third eye but no I'm not making up with him um he had more than enough chances he knew exactly what was going on he you know built up over the course of the past month a bunch of negative things he would constantly say in stream chat he would derail the streams with stupid suggestions and dumb shit and finally yesterday he talked shit and got his ass kicked out and he's done so fuck him <clears throat> Okay. All right. So right off the bat, we got that. I'm going to look into this further. After doing this part of the research, I still can't say 100%. I do think he is third eye, but I can't say 100% for sure. So I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to look into it further and see what I can find. But DSP knows whether it's third eye. Third eye has clearly tipped in the past. Snow Carl is currently still fucking tipping. He knows whether it's third eye or not. So. I mean, I guess maybe those are the only two people who really fucking know until I stumble on it. And I will stumble on it if it's not the same person. So anyways, just, you know, just a piece of shit. And 
he do, he doesn't know whether it's third eye again. It's just fucking garbage. Whatever. Let's see what the next clip has. Um, Snow Carl Cheers is a cost-saving measure. Since you have to buy two games on Friday, have you considered skipping one of them and playing games you already have? Uh, there's two major new releases. I want to play both of them. People want to see me play both of them. I've been talking about playing both of them for weeks. Or actually, months. Uh, no, I want to buy them both. So that's why I'm trying to raise the funds to do so. If I can't afford them both, obviously I won't buy them both. But I need to try to raise the funds to buy them in the next two days. So that's what I'm going for. Alright? That's what people want. That's what I'm going for. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Fair enough? <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Well, no, it's not fair enough. All right. Okay. Fucking Amberlynn Reed with your both. This dude, he begs and pleads for money all the time. Claims he's fucking financially destitute. Snow Carl asks the question of, wouldn't it be financially prudent or a cost-saving, cost-cutting measure to just get one game instead of two this weekend? No, I want him. I want him, so I'm going to get him. And the fucked up part is, he's going to beg, and he's going to plead, and he's going to get them to. Dude has no semblance of reality. He has no clue of fucking reality. Just a beggar. That's what he does. I want them both. <sighs> Snow Carl, I don't know why you even tried with this fucking guy. Yeah, just, you need to cut your losses and move on. But next one's a clip. Let's go. All right. Let's continue on. Snow Carl did tip me a dollar thirty-three. He said, "Looking forward to MGS. Shouldn't this great fundraiser constitute more than six hours of gameplay?" Uh, no. I have a life, and I have to continue to stream all week long. Just because we're doing this special today doesn't mean that we now interrupt other business. Here's the thing. Yeah, you're right. If I wanted to do a twenty-four hour marathon, I could have, but then I can't stream tomorrow, right? So I can't. We got to maintain. The normal stuff. Tomorrow, people want to come back and have that expected gameplay that they get from me every single day. They want to see the ongoing playthroughs or whatever. So, we got to do a special marathon, but we got to interject it amongst everything else and not have it disrupt everything else, which is why I'm doing how much I'm doing. Okay? Um. Alright, and again, just no fucking semblance of reality. Motherfucker said he has a life. No, you don't, Dave. You don't have a fucking life. We already know what you do all day. And it's called WWE Champions. That's your fucking life. Lying asshole. If I wanted to do a 24-hour marathon, I could. <laughs> I don't think you could, buddy. I don't think you struggle to go. You can't even go to a pre-stream and then fucking go to the restroom. Can't even handle that. And then the biggest fucking bullshit of all. Uh, people want to come back and they want that expected gameplay every day. They expect game... Who? Like who? The silent major Gary BTK, these fucking people? Nobody wants your expected gameplay. Tweeting all that schedule out every day like anybody gives a flying fuck. Kiss my ass, man. Uh, Snow Carl cheered. He says, he's using euphemisms like positive benefit or contributions uh, rather than money or money in an account. A conscious choice or just natural? Well, it depends. All right. Um, first of all, if you say money, 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 people tend to say, wow, all you're doing is talking about money. Even if you're not, even if you only say it like twice on a stream, people might get turned off by saying that. All right. Just being honest here. It's true. Um, you know, when I say, you know, tipping me helps me more than anything. Do you think people want to hear, well, tipping me helps me more because there's money in my account. You know, <laughs> no, they want to hear, okay, you're contributing, you're helping out. Here's how, here's this kind of stuff that I can take care of with those contributions. Right? It's all about careful wording and making sure that you're not hammering a repetitive thing in that might offend people. You know? Everyone knows that when you tip me, you're giving me money. Duh. I mean, it'd be pretty silly if you didn't understand that. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I've already said this many times and I'll say it again. Twitch has strict requirements on what you can say and can't say. For example, bits have no monetary value and therefore cannot be equated to money. Because they don't have monetary value. If you do that on a stream, you get in trouble. And I would never do that because that's against Twitch's terms of service. See? So that's why you have to say things in certain ways. It's pretty common sense. Why people still don't understand this, I don't know. But whatever. <clears throat> okay. Snow Carl is my waifu. Tipped a dollar. 
and then said, uh, talking about horses, it's basically an insulting idiot. So thanks for the dollar tip, you stupid insulting idiot. Um, I'm not going to derail the stream with your stupidity. But thanks for the tip. All right. And shout out to Snow Carl is my waifu there with the generous tip. But he's not going to derail his streams, you fucking asshole. So get the fuck out of here. But yeah, money, 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 money. And if you if you say money instead of uh, generous contributions or positive benefits, people are going to say you're talking about money all the time. You motherfucker. Like, you don't beg all the time. This dude says please so fucking much. He doesn't even know what the word means anymore. I've, I've put up videos and clips myself where he's fucking said please three times in four seconds. And there's multiple instances that I've put up already. And I just started doing this like two months ago. So money, money, money all the time. Isn't it ironic? Isn't it Shawn Michaels? And then this motherfucker... He basically admitted he's a weasel with these fucking words. He's a fucking snake. Oh, it's all about careful wording and how you do things. He knows exactly what he's doing. We all fucking know this already, but apparently these dumbasses can't get it through their fucking head what he's doing to them. These weasel words, these snake tactics. Money, 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 money. Just anything he can do to try to dress this shit up and make it not seem like he's a beggar. But... To anybody with a functioning brain with more than two brain cells can see what he is, what he's doing, and what he always will be. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Life gets in the way of playing video games? Yes. And it should be like that. Snow Curl Trees, how about if we meet today's tips called you cancel next day's break? No, I need a break. How dare you? Snow Curl, you're doing it again. I'm telling you right now, Snow Curl, you're fucking doing it again. You want me to cancel the break that's there so that I don't have issues being sedentary all day, stretching my limbs, getting a drink, seeing my wife. You're being a jerk. Snow Carl, I don't understand how you don't understand how stupid this is. Stop it right fucking now. Because I don't want to have to permanently ban you, but I'm having enough of your shit. Yeah, cancel the fucking break. Oh my god. I hear another Kadama to the left. Uh oh, Snow Carl's starting to become toxic now. So Snow Carl says, can you cancel the break since you're getting so much money? And you heard Phil's fucking answer. He can't be sedentary all day. He has to see his wife. Blah, blah, blah. It's funny how he's been staying overtime every single night stream lately because he doesn't hit that goal. I thought he had to see his wife. And then this bullshit about sedentary all day. Just get up and walk around the room for five seconds like you did and how you felt so energized after that. Remember that? Or get up and do your 25 push-ups off screen, you little bitch. You remember that? And matter of fact, didn't we just hear a clip where he said he could do a 24-hour stream if he wanted to? 24-hour marathon? T sedentary all day. But yeah, there, here it is. Now we're starting. The first few messages were Snow Carl just getting his feet wet, essentially. Just testing the waters, whether he is third eye or not. Testing the fucking water. Seeing what he can get away with. Somebody left a message on a video recently, the one I put out, I think a day or two ago, and I forgot your name. I'm sorry, man. Um, but he said, you should kind of try to take it easy on Snow Carl a little bit like you did with Alfred. And, you know, I responded back or they said also that they don't think Snow Carl's all there mentally, which is possible. It's possible. But I told them, once you see the video, you'll probably have a different opinion because Snow Carl thinks he's playing 2D chess with them, with the trolling. Phil knows what he's doing. He's playing 4D chess with Snow Carl. Snow Carl turns around and says, okay, I'm going to do 6D chess. Phil says, okay, 8D chess. And then they just keep going back and forth. And this is where we're at right now. Like the best uh, comparison I could come up with, with was they're in a relationship. One person cheats on the other person. And the other person, instead of breaking up with them, says, well, fuck, I'm going to cheat on you back, bitch. And they start cheating. And so the other person says, well, I'm going to cheat again. And this is what we're in right now. It's just back and forth, back and forth. But now we're starting to get into it. And you're going to see Snow Carl thinks he's playing 2D chess, but motherfucker, you're getting played, homeboy. Sure, I'll clarify why I banned Snow Carl. First of all, he's talking about 
Oh, I like this girl. I like that girl. Who do you like, Phil? I've only talked a million times about how I'm not like that. I'm 38 years old. I'm not going to sit here and talk about girls that I like in fucking games when I'm married in real life. He knows that. He does it to annoy me and to derail the stream. Then he starts talking about the tractor stuff, and that's the last straw. It's one thing if he's going to be annoying the whole stream and do it on purpose. It's another thing if he's going to actually try to, like, now bring up negative shit to derail the stream. So that's a double violation of the rules. I've had enough. He's gone. I'm just not putting up with his shit anymore. I'm done with it. <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not playing no fucking games. I got. I'm trying to play a game and enjoy, and I gotta be annoyed by a, new, a stupid shit. There's a kid, by the way. But I'm gonna do the other thing first. <clears throat> you mean I can't just sit here and annoy the streamer all day long and get away with it? No, fuck off, you idiot. You fucking pain in my ass. Okay. You're right, I am stressed. I'm sitting in here. I'm sitting in the office that's about 85 to 90 degrees with a vest on. I'm sweating profusely as I'm trying to play a game, and I gotta put up with some dickhead trolling. No, I don't. I'm gonna give him the fucking boot, and he's never coming back. He knows better. He does it on purpose to annoy me, and it's enough of that shit. Alright, so we might as well just end the video right there, because clearly he just said... Snow Carl's a fucking pain in my ass, and I'm banning him, and he's never coming back. So Snow Carl's asking about waifus or whatever, and Phil, I'm married, and I'm a mature adult, blah, blah, blah. I'm not fucking playing games with them. Just more of the same garbage. Again, direct quote, he's a fucking pain in my ass, and he's never coming back. So this must be the end of the video. I don't know why the video's even going to continue, because clearly you banned him, and he's never coming back. You little piece of shit, Snow Carl. So I'm, I'm not even sure what the rest of the video is going to be, but I have a feeling that's not the end of it. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Congratulations, Doodly. I saw that your, your subscription had expired recently. And thank you, Sundance McGee, for the support. Uh, Snow Carl cheered. He says, can we get a personal call or chat set up between you and Papa Vera so he doesn't have to cheer to help out in Minecraft? No. We're not going to have some kind of a voice call going during the, 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 the streams. The system we got works fine. The system we got has been working very well. And I appreciate all of Papa Vera's uh, instruction and contributions to the streams. And what's hilarious, Snow Carl, is that you're completely off base because he tweets me the instructions and I follow the instructions off of Twitter. He doesn't have to, you know, cheer to give me instructions. So you're a liar. And you're trying to instigate stuff again. Here we are. We just started the stream. Snow Carl already is trying to instigate problems. So I'm gonna say this once up front. Snow Carl, mind your own damn business. Last chance, one more time, you're out of here for good. And this time, it doesn't matter how many dozens of weeping people there are on the stream, I'm gonna laugh and I, when I kick your ass out the door. Okay? Prez Vegeta. <laughs> that fucking clip cracks me up so much. It doesn't matter how many weeping people there are on the streams, <laughs> I'm gonna ban your ass and you're never fucking coming back. That's funny, Phil, because I could have sworn you just said the same thing in the last clip, buddy. You greedy little bitch. And I wonder why he doesn't want to make it easier on Papa Vera. And Papa Vera's just a fucking idiot, too. Don't get me wrong, but just cheering all the time. No, Phil, do this in Minecraft. No, Phil, do that. No, these are the instructions, Phil. And Snow Carl's suggesting is set up a voice chat, which would be fucking hilarious, but Phil doesn't want to do that. The method they have is fine. I wonder why, you fucking greedy piece of shit. But that weeping people got me good, man. I fucking cracked up hard on that one. But again, I don't know why the video's continuing, because you banned him last time and he's not coming back, and I'm not sure, but next one's a clip. Let's go. Oh, so now are you the man poor from War to the Dollar City? He saw that PWWs of Snow Carl are now uh, looting in Florida. Can I ask an honest question? What is it with people getting obsessed with certain people and talking about them constantly? All right, Snow Carl's been gone from the stream chat like three weeks. PWWs now spent a couple days. Can you guys like get over it? I mean it. Like, can you like get the fuck over it and stop mentioning them constantly? Because it's very immature. And it basically just makes it like a joke. The fact that people misbehaved and broke the rules and got banned for it. And now you're like laughing at them. It's not funny. You know, if these people are eventually going to change 
and maybe have a chance to come back, they need to not be the butt of a joke that's running constantly. So please understand that, and please stop making jokes about it, because I don't think it's fucking funny. Just stop it. Leave them alone. If they're, if eventually, you know, they make amends, they come back, that's great. If not, whatever. But we need to stop talking about them every 10 fucking seconds. Grow up. Alright. Alright, so keep in mind that that was a 50-bit bitch that asked that question. And you see how pissy and defensive and how he just doesn't want to hear it anymore. Keep that in mind for the next clip. 50-bit bitch. But, Phil... Maybe people are asking about them all the fucking time. Number one, because it gets on your nerves, so they're getting a reaction out of you. Number two, because you bring them back all the fucking time. You make such a big deal about it, you ban them all the fucking time, and then you let them right back in just to appease your apology fetish. Humble the rule breakers into submission. Do you remember that? Did you think we weren't going to remember that? Humble the rule breakers into submission. I'm going to make that quote come back to bite you in the ass. Somehow, some way, I'm going to do it. But you're essentially playing a game with these fucking people, man. Uh, encouraging the behavior. If you go back to that third eye video I did, I said on there, he was the original third eye. He was the original PW dubs. It makes fucking sense now. After I heard that first clip of the video. Just toying with them. Again, 2D chess, 4D chess, 6D chess. I don't know how Snow Carl's even been back in the chat. Because you said two or three clips ago that he's gone and he ain't never coming back. But yeah, 50-bit bitch. Let's see what the next clip has to say. What was going on when I was still doing this segment of the game? Snow Dubs Memorial Fund tipped me $31 and said, these are funds raised by the estate of Snow Carl and PW Dubs. We authorize the release of them at this time. Again, someone who just cannot stop talking every day about Snow Carl and PW Dubs being banned from the chat. But thank you, Snow Dubs Memorial Fund, for the $31 tip. And that propels us, propels us like a rocket in our asses, past the goal to $129 in tips, for this very stream, folks. So someone sends in a $31 tip called Snow Dubs Memorial Fund or whatever the fuck it is. He complains about it, but it's funny. He's laughing now. I wonder why that is, Phil. How come you weren't laughing at the 50-bit bitch? You saw how, and by the way, those clips were four days apart if you look at the date on the screen. Somebody brings up Snow Carl, PW Dubs, and he loses his shit on a 50-bit bitch. A $31 tipper names themselves Snow Carl Memorial Fund, PW Does Memorial Fund. And, uh, man, you, why can't y'all stop asking about him? But anyways, a rocket ship up your ass, or whatever the fuck he said. $31 tip, and now it's fucking funny. Again, this is... It sums up and it defines Phil Burnell. What his life has become. When it's 50 bits, you can't fuck with them. But when it's $30, you can fuck with them all you want. You can say anything you want. You can joke about horse wife. You can do whatever you fucking want. Just put that money on the table. Let him get a whiff of it. And motherfucker, charge it back on him. Because he don't fucking deserve it. The next one's the last clip. Let's fucking go. Okay. Snow Carl tipped me a dollar. Says, it's me again. Have you considered my unbanned? Well, Snow Carl, I'll be very honest with you. You really pissed me off earlier this year with your way you behaved on the streams repeatedly over and over. And even though you apologized, I honestly didn't didn't believe that your apologies were wholehearted. I'm just being honest, you know. Um, there's some people who I feel over time they can learn from their mistakes and they can learn to be a better person and they can come back and be another a, a stream participant again. But you like you always you know you always had to do you had to do, twist that knife. And you got unbanned a million times. And every time, you never learned your lesson. You know what I mean? Every effing time, you never learned your lesson. It was like you couldn't resist doing that behavior that you knew was insulting and not allowed on the stream. You just couldn't help yourself. And I almost, I'm at the point with people like you, all right? Because it's you and there are several others in the same situation as you. That I feel like I'm enabling you by letting you back into the streams to do that kind of behavior. 
that toxic, hurtful, negative behavior that you being in the stream now, oh my God, I can't control myself. I got to do it again. You see? And it may not be today and it may not be tomorrow and it may not be in a week, but I almost feel like it's, it's inevitable, right? That you're going to be doing stuff that's going to be negative. In addition to that, I already know that you're in other, other detractor chats constantly because people tell me about it all the time. <laughs> I don't actively seek that information. I don't. I don't actively seek that information whatsoever, but people snitch. I'll just get anonymous email. Here's evidence that Snow Carl is still talking shit about you in a detractor chat. There it is. I'm not looking for it, but you gotta, I, that's what I keep telling people. You got to understand everything you do on the internet is public. Everything. You may think you're safe hiding in your little hidey holes of other chats and, and a, a Twitter feed over here. You may not think that I'm going to look at. People find that stuff and end up just sending it to me. I don't even ask for it. I don't care. But then they send it to me, you know? So I'm sorry, Snow Carl, but the only way I could ever believe that you actually are going to reform yourself is if you completely shut yourself off from any kind of activity that's like basically making fun of me, tearing myself and my family members a new one, constant annoying insults and criticism you'd have to completely stay away from that for an extended period of time i'd have to not hear from anyone that you're in detractor chats and shit for an extended period of time and then you'd have to come to me and say i really reformed i've made my case now please let me back and then i would consider it but you have done none of those so you're not coming back dark viking 159 tipped me 150 dollars thank you dark viking let me get him right up on the leaderboard, and then I'll read you his message here. All right, good God, there's so much in that clip. And it was, that was a three-minute clip. I let it go on forever, but, you know, I did that for a reason. And by the way, Dark Viking at the end with 150. Snow Carl, if you had sent him 150, he would have got on his fucking knees and put you, well, you know what he would have done, in his fucking mouth. If you sent him 150 there. But because you sent him a dollar or whatever it was, now he don't fucking need that. And if you look at the picture on the screen, shout out to Piece of Peace. Um, if I can remember, I'm going to put his link again in the description. Subscribe to this guy. We need to get him to a thousand subs. He's doing hardcore work with this fucking financial shit. But Snow Carl, since Phil has gotten departnered, has given at least $183 to Phil. Playing this 2D chess bullshit that he thinks he's playing. This is why Phil's playing 4D chess with you. $183 in a few months. By a dollar at a time, by the way. And this is not even counting the other variants of Carl's, whatever that there are. Snow Carl's, Wind Carl, Sand Carl, all these other fucking people. There's no telling. But it's at least $183 under his own name. And he thinks he's playing 2D chess, but Phil is getting over on you big time, you dumbass. This is why I said I can't take it easy on Snow Carl. He knows exactly what he's fucking doing. He's pressing buttons, but he, he's in a fucking, like a, one of those arcades where the game is rigged. He's pressing buttons, but you ain't never going to get the, the claw's not going to get the prize, you dumbass. And again, this was, that clip was from October. So I left December, I left all this year in case we need a part two on him. But just to go back on that clip, so other Phil says other people are dishonest. That in, in itself is just, what do you even say there? But why'd you allow him to come back then, you lying sick fuck? Just to appease your apology fetish again. Why, do you, why is he still there now? And by the way, anonymous people sending him info all the time that he doesn't ask for and he doesn't care about. Bull fucking shit. That line alone is admitting that his little bootlickers are fucking spying and setting shit up. And he's 100% a part of it. Fuck out of here, man. All it takes is common sense to put this shit together. Go back and look at the Discord leaks that came out. But this is also why I don't give Anani the benefit of the doubt at all. You know, I put that video out on him. He came and he commented. It's clear he didn't even watch the video by that fucking response he gave. Whatever, I don't care. It is what it is, but I don't give him the benefit of the doubt at all because he probably was part of these fucking ops. He probably was doing all this spying shit, snitching, blah, blah, blah. And he nor Phil will talk about it because it's just going to make them look worse. 
Trust me, if Phil could get over on Anani by admitting some shit, he would. But it'll make him look fucking worse. And vice versa. But yeah, I don't give him the benefit of the doubt at all. There's no telling how much ops and what these fucking guys are doing behind the scenes. Timbo, we're going to get into him. This video is going to be so fucking long. This is why I don't like covering people with nothing but clips. Because the video is going to be so fucking long. But yeah, look at that total again. $183 in a couple of months playing 2D chess. Who's really the dumbass here? And it ain't Phil. He's a dumbass, but it ain't Phil. Let's go ahead and move on to DJ Runo. Okay. I missed the cheer. DJ Runo cheered. He says, what is your best pickup line? <laughs> what I do is I... <laughs> I completely do and I do the helicopter. And usually that attracts everybody. Man, male and female, of course. What are you talking about? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Good God. What do you even fucking say? He knows that little crack he gave and then he kind of smiled. He knows he shouldn't have made that joke and he did it anyways. You sick fuck. Out here tormenting. And by the way, I forgot about this fan art. So, in one of the video clips, you'll see the fan art go by. I had completely forgotten about this one. Look at this. Why would anybody make this? Look at this. Probability of success, 0%. I want a chopper full of penne. And there's the little 11-year-old girl that talked shit to him. And then he waited till he was in the other room and then went off on her and threatened to bitch slap her and all this shit. There she is. Phil's getting his fucking revenge. How do you like me now? Phil is saying to her. Now he's got the upper hand. He wants a chopper full of penne. Zero probability success. Oh my god. This is how we start with this. They're both. Oh, and by the way, I cracked something else and we're going to get to it at the end of it. But I haven't cracked it fully, but I'm on the case. Trust me, I put my little... Detective hat on and I'm on the fucking case Next one's a clip and this is also a first in this series and you'll get a kick out of this one. Let's go uh, DJ Runo cheers says, are these IRL streams gonna become more regular like once a month? We'll see You know the thing is we haven't done one in three weeks I didn't have anything planned for tonight and I, I said to cat you'll feel like doing it later this week And she's like sure why not? So we decided to do one. Maybe we'll have a month where we don't want to do it, right? Where we're yeah. just busy with other stuff or whatever. Or maybe I'll be super busy with new releases. Mm -hmm. And I will, you know. But the thing is, the summer is slow. So more than likely, yeah. you know, if there is going to be a time when we do it kind of semi-consistently, it would be the summer. I'll tell you, probably when we get to the hardcore gaming season, maybe yeah. it'll be a tougher, you know. We'll, yeah. we'll see. But for now, you know, every few weeks, maybe we feel like doing one, we'll do one. Okay. All right, some lag on the video, but what it doesn't even fucking matter. That poor girl. Then go back and watch it if you need to. She looks so embarrassed. The, the only words, that was a 40 second clip, 41 second clip. The only words she uttered were, yeah, no, yeah, no. And she was staring at the floor the entire time. Meanwhile, this fucking idiot's just rambling on. And he was 100% planning on pimping her out on his fucking streams. And then that glorious night with Tevin happened, and she ran away, apparently, into another man's arms, and Phil stayed on stream in his little Bob Ross shirt and drinking his little bottle of water with a straw in it. That's, that is one of the most glorious thumbnails I should have included in this video, but I got a better thumbnail right now, and you're looking at it. But yeah, she's just so embarrassed. She didn't want to be there, clearly, and he just was like, oh, this is going to be a semi-regular thing, three weeks, in real life, blah, 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 and what happened to that buddy? She put an end to that shit real quick, and it wasn't because of Tevin, and we all know this. Because he's a fucking asshole, he was just steamrolling over her, oh, you're going to be here, and you're going to have fun, and then look how depressed she was in that Halloween stream. How bored she was. And she went out to a party, and this fucking guy just lets her go. What do you even say, man? What do you even fucking say? Next one's a clip. Let's go. 
What the hell? DJ Runo says, I need to have my daily nutrient shake and fish oil for breakfast, and then if I'm still hungry, curd cheese will do. I must be careful. Now. I actually do take multivitamins. Uh, I, with dinner, I take those, actually. Like I said, typically I don't eat breakfast. But now I'm going to try to start. I am. I'm going to try to start up to eating and, and being better now. I seriously need to. I love that certain... Yeah, becoming that certain age where I need to start caring about my health. <clears throat> Especially with all the stress and stuff that I've been under lately. Now that you guys know everything that's been going on with me, I definitely gotta start looking into other stuff. Alright, now let it go on at the end there because I wanted to include that. All of a sudden, the stress going on with me. and Never, never miss out on an opportunity to beg, Phil. Never miss out on an opportunity to guilt trip people and try to garner sympathy. You piece of shit. And if you look at the date on that, it was November 27th, I believe. That's either the day before or the day of that he revealed Ket. And he's got so much stress and blah, 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 financially and all this bullshit. And he was hiding her in the background. But yeah, multivitamins with dinner. I don't take vitamins. I probably should too. But with dinner, aren't you supposed to take those in the beginning of the day? Oh, yeah, I take multivitamins with dinner. How did that work out? How did that fucking work out? Because you... I hate to say this, buddy, because you can't control how you look, but you look fucking horrible. Horrible, my friend. You know, start taking vitamins, start doing, and I'm being legitimately real right now. Start doing some exercise, start taking vitamins for real, go to a doctor, do something, because you don't look good, man. And, you know, I'm not trying to be funny by saying this. Just get yourself checked out or do something, dude, because something ain't right, man. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Okay. Uh, DJ Runo cheered again. He says, you know, tipping may be the best way to contribute, but to do that, I need a debit or credit card. Since I have neither, bits it shall be. Um, I guess. I mean, that's not true. If you have a PayPal account linked to a bank account, you could do it that way. Tipping, by the way. You could use a prepaid card. You don't need to use a debit or credit card. And by the way, you can buy online prepaid cards with a PayPal account. I don't understand what you mean. Like, what phantom currency are you using to buy bits? I have no idea. <laughs> Again, I'm not. The, I'm the guy on the other end of the spectrum. I'm not the one who contributes. So I don't know. I don't know what various methods you're using. But you can. You can have a PayPal account linked to a bank account where you don't need a debit or credit card at all. So I'm not sure exactly what you're saying there. In fact, PayPal is the, the most flexible way to pay on the internet. You can pay with a bajillion different methods. So. But hey, I'm certainly not um, looking to give Taurus in the mouth. Anything that you contribute is much appreciated, okay? You ungrateful bitch. Can't just say, all right, thanks for the bits, man. I appreciate it, and let's move on. You have to fucking... Talk down to the guy for a minute, and then at the end of it, but hey, I'm not looking at gift horse in the mouth. Then why'd you say all that shit? Should have just said thank you and been grateful. Fucking greedy. Oh, and then, what phantom currency you're using to buy? What do you mean phantom currency? You're, you're a definition of phantom currency, you fucking bitch. Where does all the money go? Where does all the money go? Phantom currency. And then my favorite part of it, I'm the guy on the other end of the spectrum. I don't see where it comes from and blah, blah, blah. That is fucking perfection right there. Phil, because you don't give a fuck about anybody else, dude. You don't care what anybody else goes through. You don't care if somebody else gets their credit card stolen and that person uses it to tip you and then the person triggers a charge back because their fucking livelihood's being fucked up or fucked with. You don't care. As long as it hits your PayPal, as long as you can immediately transfer it and pay that fee, and as long as you can play your mobile games, that's all you fucking care about. Fuck everybody else. And I included DJ Runo for a reason here, and we're getting to it, trust me, but you don't care about anybody else but your fucking self, man. 
Next one's a clip. Let's go. Uh, DJ Runo just did a thousand bit cheer. Thank you, DJ Runo. He says, not much hope, but I hope it helps out. It helps, man, because like I said, I don't know. Right now, I'm making zero dollars on YouTube, and I got to find a way now to make up for it. You know, I, real talk, I have to find a way to make up for this money because in two months, I'll be screwed. Because what is it, July? And it's a two month stagger, right? From how you get paid from Twitch and YouTube. So in two months, in September, uh, I'm going to be completely screwed, and I don't know what to do. Unless I could figure out a way to make up for this lost revenue or I could get the channel fixed. Alright, uh... Big Tone just hit me $5 said, hey... Alright, and there it is again. Never let a good opportunity to feign distress, to beg, to garner sympathy go to waste. So it's an emergency stream. He's talking about in two months he's going to be screwed. Not anytime soon. In two fucking months he's going to be screwed because he's losing money on fucking YouTube. Meanwhile, he makes probably 90% of his money through Twitch. But in two months, oh, he's going to be screwed. And by the way, he got his fucking account back that same week, like two days later. I mean, what a fucking shock there. And he probably never even mentioned it again. Until it was time to beg. Oh, do you remember when I lost my YouTube account for two days, two months ago? Oh, I got screwed there. Yeah, he missed out on 10 bucks ad revenue wise. But it's emergency and I'm surprised he wasn't wearing a black shirt there. Those two days I didn't have fucking ad sense. It really screwed me. So now I need your help more than ever, guys. Fucking idiots. And finally, good God, we got some screenshots to look at. Good Lord. Next picture. And here we go, baby. Here's the start of it. $20. And I'm not going to cover every single detail, but we're going to cover enough of it. In case you weren't around during this time and you, don't, you didn't experience this. So, Phil's screaming. He's crying about financials. He's saying he doesn't have $1 in the bank. He's literally saying $0 in the bank. And DJ Runo asked him, is he going to play Untitled Goose Game? Phil says, I don't know. I don't have any money for it. Blah, blah, blah. DJ Runo says, if I give you $20, will you play it? And Phil, to his credit, says maybe a few times. Maybe if somebody gives me the money, I'll play it. DJ Runo comes through with a $20 tip and says, Untitled Goose Game Hype. I hope this is okay since I don't know if a code from Austria works for you. Austria. Um, and then Phil takes the money, obviously, and he says, okay, yeah, you know what? I guess I will play it. All right, what the hell? I'll play it. I'll have it up. And let's go ahead and go to the next screenshot. And then boom, he put it on his schedule. So this is it's set in stone. You know him and his schedule. It's set in stone. Friday, Untitled Goose Game. Premiere live stream. So... As far as I know, we're playing an Untitled Goose Game on Friday, boys. So get ready for it. I'm ready for it. What about you? Next one's a clip. Let's go. Because the bottom line is, I told you guys, I have no money. I literally have zero dollars to my name right now. Zero. So I can't afford any games. Um, I was going to play Untitled Goose Game. Except that last night, I got the notification that I have no money. And I was like, that really sucks. You know, every money, every day, the money I get from tips, I'm transferring to my bank account. Um... So essentially, I'm, I must be I'm overdrawn um, for them to tell me that I have that, you know, the, the notice that you are, you know, no balance or whatever. So I don't have money for it right now. I want to play it. It's only 15 bucks, supposedly. But the money that was given to me yesterday for it, I already had to put towards paying bills. You know, that's more important. So I was like, you are. You're the idiots who sit here and, and are so demanding on a streamer who, again, is down on his luck and wants to play games and can't. You know, you're the ones who are toxic, not me. You just got to be patient and stop asking for the same goddamn thing like a petulant child because it's not going to make it come any fast. But then you put it on me like I'm doing something wrong by being upfront and honest and transparent with all of you. When in reality, it's just me trying to tell you what to expect so that you don't have these ridiculous expectations of what's not going to happen on stream. So I don't feel like I'm promising you the world. And then you know what I mean? Um, that the stuff doesn't happen. Why am I toxic? You want to know who's toxic? You want to know who's fucking toxic? Your parents. Because they're letting you use the fucking internet and say dumb shit on the internet because I know you're like fucking eight years old. Alright, beautiful. 
by the way, my favorite part of that was I don't have a dollar, like I said, zero dollars in the account. And that money that DJ Runo gave him had to go towards bills overnight. I wonder what fucking bills those were that you paid overnight. You fucking crack at it. I wonder what bill you had to pay. And then, by the way, you see all those screenshots on Kiwi Farms of when his uh, guild got exposed and the conversations he's in there having and talking about, oh, showing off his lineup and showing off his roster. And and then, oh, man, those, that I don't have any money in my account. Zero dollars. And it had to go to bills. It had to. So fucking pathetic, man. How much lower can you go, dude? And then, by the way, the game's $15 all of a sudden. He said it's not even 20 this time. He said it was $15. But he's being honest and transparent by telling you he doesn't have any money and it had to go towards bills. Again, how much lower can you possibly go, Phil Burnell? It's pathetic, man. It's fucking pathetic. Next one's next one's a picture, I believe. All right, and here it goes. And it's kind of small. I had to blow it up on my screen. This is the only way I could get it on here. So somebody names somebody named D Runo Renolfo One. I mean, what the fuck? D Renolfo One goes to Phil's forum, the King of Hate forum. And by the way, if you ever go there, make sure you use your VPN because it's a fucking honeypot for this piece of shit. But he posts and he says, DSP pocketed my $20 I donated for a game. And the post goes on to state, I donated $20 for DSP to spend on Goose Game for him to play yesterday. But today he came on stream saying he is too broke to buy any Boo games and needs Nintendo credits for him to buy it. I already gave him the money for it. It's even already listed in this week's schedule. I need my money back, but the fact he is banning everybody that is bringing it up, I'm just going to go through PayPal and save the headache of lies I will be told by him. I've long knew about Phil's dishonesty, especially when it comes to money, but I donated anyways because I wanted to see him play the game. I won't be an idiot again. Now, outside of the name, this is very convincing. Very convincing, but as most of us know, it was a fucking troll. It was just a troll posting, and Phil would have known that if he took two seconds to do the fucking research, he would have known that. And so I don't know how, because when Phil came back on stream, and I'm not including this because, again, it's going too long already, but Phil claims that he saw the message and that somebody did charge him back. As we all know, DJ Runo didn't send that message, so DJ Runo probably didn't try to charge him back. So where Phil got this story of a chargeback actually happened and, you know, all that happened to me, according to me, is he saw the fucking post and he went off. And the next clip is going to be an assassination of DJ Runo. And mind you, this is only a two minute clip. He went on for 45 fucking minutes like this on DJ Runo. And it didn't even end up being the right person. Next one's a clip. Let's go ever ever being up front with me about anything that's the most fucked up thing you could possibly do to me is to do shit behind my back like that and not be a man up front say phil i got an issue with you because the truth of the matter is this anyone who's actually come to me and said phil i got an issue with you i'm cool with that and we get the issue resolved that's the that's the kind of guy i am like, i don't want anyone being upset with me or being angry with me i will be go out of my way to make sure that by the end of the day that people are happy with the situation that involves me um, and that's why, again, with my old friends who kind of screwed me over and decided to never tell me about anything that was messed up with our relationship as friends over the years, and all of a sudden they make a fucking video about it without ever once addressing any of it with me, that's the most backhanded, behind-your-back bullshit you could possibly do. That shit still stings to this day. So for someone who is a two-year supporter to literally believe bullshit with no substantiation, to go behind my back and try to get me in trouble by trying to report me to PayPal and Twitch, rather than just saying, hey, Phil, can I have my money back because I don't like the situation, is the most fucked up, disrespectful, 
pussy shit a person could possibly do and i will never ever respect someone who ever acts like that ever on this planet because i'm tired of getting fucked over by pussies people who are passive aggressive people who have no guts who have no honor who just want to fucking talk shit behind your back and fuck you over because it gets them ahead this guy essentially went to detractors to try to get ammo so he could do a false report against twitch against me he can go fuck himself i don't ever want to hear from him ever again and I hope that he fucking never, ever involves himself with myself or my content ever again. I don't need support from an asshole like that. I don't. I don't need ass uh, an asshole backhandedly supporting me when in reality all he's doing is trying to get something out of me. And then whenever things don't go his way, instead of being basically a decent human, turns into a complete piece of shit and tries to get me in trouble, go fuck yourself, DJ Runo. Seriously, don't ever come back. No one wants you here, especially me. Okay. All right, starting at the very beginning. When somebody comes to me and says, Phil, I have an issue with you. I like to handle it. Phil, I have a fucking issue with you. Why don't you fucking handle it with me, man? Instead of being in your little fucking hug box where nobody can respond. When somebody says they have an issue with me, I like to handle it. I don't want anybody mad at me. Meanwhile, he blocks and bans the entire fucking world. And he couldn't take the two seconds of research to see that this was not even the real fucking person. The right person. But again, people shouldn't have to tell you this stuff at your age, Phil. You should be old enough by now. You should know these things. You're so stupid. Zero research into it. He didn't even fucking look into it. And it's... Isn't it Shawn Michaels... That he mentioned Rambo and Howard and how they treated him. He doesn't give a fuck how they felt. And what he would do to them. But this is a perfect ex example of what they were talking about. He doesn't care. Because it's only about him. He doesn't take the two seconds to think about other people. And how they might feel. He can't take the two seconds to look and see if it was even DJ Runo. He probably didn't even get a charge back. He just read that fucking post and immediately for 45 minutes assassinated him. Perfect example of it. And he ended it with, don't ever come back. It's go fuck yourself. Don't ever come back. No one wants you here, especially me. And he looked right at the camera and said it. Next one's a clip. Let's go. Super Wombat, man. Again, guys, thank you for understanding with the drama and the shit that happened tonight. I get so frustrated over it, and it's very frustrating when I just want to play games and have fun. I have to put up with stupid nonsense. It really is. So, apologies to everyone for that. Apologies to DJ Runo if it really wasn't him who was stirring up all this drama and claiming he was going to false report me and do fucked up shit to me. If he's not, if that wasn't him, I wholeheartedly apologize for the misunderstanding, but I thought that it was him. Um... Everyone have a good night. Thank you for watching Minecraft. I'll see you all next week. Another cheer came in. Mr. Bob versus I already haven't made. I'll post it to your Twitter in a minute. Everyone have a good night. I'll see you all next well next week for Minecraft. But tomorrow, I'm off. I'll be back on Wednesday. 45 minute assassination. It's not even the right guy. Somebody points it out to him that it's not even the right guy. And that was his apology. A fucking literal throw away apology as he's getting ready to sign off. Can't take five minutes and give a heartfelt message to DJ Runo. Barely takes any fucking responsibility for it. I wholeheartedly apologize. Uh, be sure to join me tomorrow, guys, for more fucking fun. Nothing but excuses. But you know what? Why should he even apologize? Because look at the end of that fucking clip. You have dumbasses like Papa Vera just lining up to replace DJ Runo. And by the way, where's Papa Vera now? How did he fucking react to you? How did he treat you? Did he take advantage of you? Did he do anything to help you? Did he take the two fucking seconds to think about you? Just like he did DJ Runo there. 45 minutes and then it wasn't even the right person and just, oh, sorry about that. Join me tomorrow, guys. Just nothing but excuses. How this guy has any fucking fans, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. The next one's going to be the last clip on DJ Runo. 
and let's just fucking listen to it. Let's go. Don't have to worry about that. I've talked to DJ Runo about it behind the scenes, and he's actually not angry at all. But he basically said, Jesus, if you were going to insult me, I guess I should basically, like, not stick around, at least, you know, in that capacity. Chances are, DJ Runo might be on the stream right now. He just uses a different name, and we don't know it. You know, I don't know, because guess what he told me? He's like, at this point, I think, you know, I kind of need to lay low and change my identity because people are, are, are already, like, trolling and, and doing harassing stuff. So I'm going to basically change things up. And then, you're right, I haven't heard from DJ Runo, but there's a lot of supportive people around here, so, you know... Who knows? So what I'm guessing is that Gollum was in prison here, but somehow he got let out. All right. And whether he's just trying to save face or whether DJ Runo is still there, I don't know. But again, I'm on the fucking case. I'm going to crack this one. Don't you worry about that. But his excuse of he tries to he tries to say DJ Runo told him he needed to change his identity because he's being trolled and he's being harassed because of the way Phil went off on him. I guarantee you those are Phil's fucking words. Those aren't DJ Runo's words. Uh, DJ Runo, maybe you should change your identity because they're, they're going to harass you and they're going to come after you now. And DJ Runo's probably so stupid he did it and stayed in there. And again, I'm going to fucking find you if you're still there. I will find it. But... Just like I said with the Atlas Telemont and the Silent Majority. Phil, you can't do this. Because people are going to take the challenges and they're going to fucking win them. And don't get me wrong. DJ Runo is a cup for coming back and not standing up for himself. How can you be that spineless and pathetic? You let somebody talk to you like that. And you do nothing about it but just come back and change your identity. These fucking people are the lowest of the low. The dregs of society. Somebody talks to you like that and you, just, you, you don't defend yourself. You don't stand up for yourself. You just stay around. It's pathetic. And speaking of pathetic, we move on to Timbo Slice. Let's go. All right, and where do you even start with this guy? So... I figured uh, I would do this like a nani and I would go start from the very end and work backwards or start from the end and then kind of set it up. But this was what he posted on Kiwi Farms recently. It says, I will be open and honest with you. I'm a OMG Phil is amazing. No, I legit watched him for the lulls and to see new games. I mostly went there for the people in chat most of the days. Not going to lie, lately I have been thinking about leaving as it has been becoming pretty shady on what he was doing. I really did not spend much time there lately. People are right. I deserve what I got and deserve the shit people said about me today for all the years supporting him with a dollar here, dollar there. I'm not here for a pity party. I legit did what I did last night to slam the door shut on him. Everyone might say, oh, you're going back. No, I'm not. And no, I don't believe you. I absolutely do not believe you. And I should have asked piece of piece for Timbo's numbers as well. Probably not that much lately. But again, I, I considered covering him in the past. And it was 50 bit bitch, $1.30 all the time. All the time. And what's for dinner, Phil? Uh, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? How was dinner? But... You know, again, I shouldn't be saying that I don't believe him already. I'm going to save that for the end. You already know how I feel on it. But one thing here is it sounds exactly like Phil, and it's almost fitting that they're both bankrupt. So I deserve the shit people said about me today for all the years supporting him with the dollar here, dollar there. I would love to get a total number on Timbo if he thinks it's a dollar here, a dollar there. And it reminds me of Phil, all those times he would say, oh, I dropped a couple of dollars on mobile games or, you know, I spent a few dollars here, a few dollars there. That's exactly what I thought of when I read that statement. And they're both bankrupt. I mean, you can't, he's bankrupt two times over for fuck's sakes. You can't make this shit up, man. But this is how we start. And like I said with the Nani, let's see if the story checks out. Next one's a clip.
Let's go. Very much for your contributions so far today. Appreciate that. Also, Timbo sliced to shoot again. He said it came out that SmackDown will be moving to the main Fox network to replace UFC because ESPN now has UFC rights and no longer Fox. Well, there you go. And Timbo Slice cheered again so that he could get number one. He's now, Timbo Slice has jumped over everyone else to number one on the cheerleader boards for the week. So thank you, Timbo, for that. All right, I'm about to end the pre-stream, guys. But just to remind you, the best way you can support me right now is to tip me. Because tips are helping me out tremendously. Right now, all my bills are clearing. And I don't want to overdraw my accounts. I am in desperate, you know, uh, not desperate, but in, in a risk of that happening. So any tips that you give me today, I will go straight to my bank account and help me out. So please consider tipping. Uh, you can either use the tips button, the tip tip jar button below the stream, or type exclamation point tip into the stream chat to bring up the link. That is the way you can help me the most. I still appreciate cheers and, and, and subs, but tipping is the way to go if you really want to help. Okay? <clears throat> All right. I was going to cut it off after the Timbo message, but then I heard that beg come on, so I figured I left that in there. This is from three or four years ago, and it's the same fucking shit about how he really needs the help. Tipping helps the most. Like I said in one of the other videos, change the fucking record, Phil. And by the way, I saw this screenshot on one of the DJ Runo videos. I think it was. Maybe it's a Timbo video. I don't know. This was his thumbnail. This is this picture is what he... Or, he probably didn't even put it. He was in emergency mode. And again, where's the black... No, this was a DJ Runo one. Where's the black shirt at, Phil? Look at this. He used this for a thumbnail. This is a man that rolls out of bed and just turns the camera on. No fucking respect. No, he doesn't care. It's all about, about the money. He doesn't give a fuck. But yeah, so getting back to the message. Dollar here, dollar there, huh? Number one cheerer for the week. Bankruptcy? Twice? pathetic <laughs> both of them both i'm talking about both of them and then phil he slipped up and said i'm desperate right now and then he tried to walk it back desperate and tried to walk it back and then again tipping is the best way to help i really need the help change the fucking record pal <sighs> pathetic man both of them next one's a clip let's go they want to see the rams win so, Timbo Slice did a 100-bit cheer, and he says, most YouTube channels are having issues with all week with notifications not working right. How can a company big as Google have so many issues? I guess all the workers just sit in the play area at the Google HQ all day and let robots run the company. In reality, that's not too far from the truth. Even though I'm sure that they do a lot of work, they're not really held accountable when their stuff doesn't work. Um, I've seen the 5 billion times when things went wrong, yet somehow they keep going wrong because the same people are in charge, right? You've never heard... Oh, there's a big internal shift at YouTube because something went so wrong at YouTube and YouTube lost so many ad revenue, so much ad revenue. And because copyright is so rampant and abusable at YouTube, there's a big shift and all the management's been shuffled around and all the employees are different. No, it's never happened. So apparently on to YouTube, even though their website constantly doesn't work, even though their website constantly violates tons of laws, um, that's okay. They could just keep keep going on because they're a monopoly. And that's the truth is that YouTube is a monopoly. They are, have the monopoly on on-demand video sharing on the internet. No one has been able to step up and compete with them. And so when shit like this happens, you know, we all have to put up with it. And it sucks ass. And it's unfair. But if you want to be a content creator on the internet, you have to put up with whoever is going to host your content. Right now, that's YouTube. So it looks like we all just have to put up with it. All right. Um. Jesus, man. The employees at Google were in the play area all day. This is two bankrupt motherfuckers criticizing another business and how bad they run their business. By two bankrupt fucking idiots that can't get out of their own way. Timbo, you're, I know you're not done with him. You're going to come back to him. And I know this. It's just the stupid people, man. Perfect example of Phil and his fucking fans. Perfect example. Bankrupt idiots talking about other businesses and how bad they are and how they need to run their shit. Meanwhile, these guys can't even run their own fucking lives. Stupid, man. Next one's a picture. 
And I'm not going to be an asshole to him because you can't control how you look. But this fucking guy posted this on Kiwi Farms. To be fair, I'm not fat. I'm tall and bulky, pretty healthy with no diabetes or other health issues as of recent tests. But hey, kick me while I'm down. Not trying to be an asshole here, but if you want to be kicked while you're down, you need to get off Kiwi Farms and go back to Phil, because he'll fucking do that for you for free. And he likes doing it, but somebody else break the news to him. I'm not going to say it. He's not fat. He's just tall and bulky. He's pretty healthy. Somebody else break the news, because I'm not going to do it, man. Uh, next one's a clip. Let's go. But I said in the future, I would consider it as a special event. And people really wanted to see something like that. Timbo Slice Cheers said, I've started to mix fruit with Kickstart in a blender. It gives me more energy longer. Might want to try it. It certainly would be healthier for you. <laughs> Mixing Kickstarter with fruit in a blender. Now, admittedly, I should have looked this up, but I like doing it this way, off the cuff. Isn't Kickstarter a fucking energy drink like Monster? If it's not, then I'm wrong, and Timbo knows more than me, but isn't that like a fucking Monster energy drink? Mixing that with fruit in a fucking blender. I hope it's fucking... I hope I'm wrong, actually, and it's some kind of vegetable drink or some shit like that. But I could have sworn I've heard that before as a monster energy drink type shit. Mixing it with fruit. Just drink the fucking fruit. Leave the Kickstarter out. What's wrong with you? And then Phil just, oh, yeah, that's good for you and healthy. He doesn't give a fuck. Sounded down and sick there. He probably was just depressed because of money again. Or uh, put depressed in quotes, by the way. Kickstarter with fruit. I hope I'm wrong on that and it's not a fucking energy drink. That's disgusting. <laughs> What's wrong with fruit by itself, man? Just put it in a blender and make... <sighs> Next one's a clip. Let's go. Timbo Slice asks, how, how excited am I that it's only a week until my girlfriend moves in? He says he was so excited when his girlfriend was going to move in with, in with him that he couldn't sleep. It's pretty exciting. And in fact, we're already planning all this awesome stuff. Uh, you know, obviously that we're going to do those first few days and then moving forward for plans for stuff that we're, we're planning on. It is pretty exciting. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. What the fuck? The bike went flip mode. Holy shit. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna go on foot. I'm just gonna go on foot. No, we've been doing a lot of, a lot of positive planning about stuff we're gonna do together. Uh, you know, moving forward, and it's been cool, you know, say, oh, man, let's go to this restaurant, we never had this kind, like, she just found a, a Korean barbecue, I've never had Korean barbecue in my life, and she found a Korean barbecue restaurant she wants to try out here, and we said, all right, well, then, you know, within the first few weeks, let's go do this Korean barbecue, try it out, and see how it is, um, you know, and again, planning meals, things we're gonna do together, it's a lot of fun, very much looking forward to it, very exciting. So Phil is excited that his girl is getting ready to move in and Timbo adds in, yeah, I'm, I was excited when my girl moved in too. I'm going to press motherfucking X to doubt on that, buddy. Can I get a fucking X in the chat? Because we don't believe you, Timbo. And then what happened, Phil? She's getting ready to move in and you're going to do all this fun stuff and you're going to go out and blah, blah, blah. And what happened, man? Well, I only get one day a week off now, and we do that to run errands. We spend it together running errands. Sounds exactly like Panda. Exactly. Panda Re. You're a pathetic husband. You're a pathetic man. Looking at this thumbnail, I mean, I don't even know what to say. And by the way, Phil, Korean barbecue sounds fucking expensive. Is that where you still continue to go on your day off when you don't have money? And then at the very end, and then we're going to do chores and stuff like that and plan meals. And that sounds fun. I'm sure it does, buddy. I'm sure it fucking does. That's the only reason you got her 
And we all fucking know this. Fuck out of here. Thank you very much for that. And yes, happy 4th of July to everybody. Uh, Timbo Slice cheered. He says, a lot of retail workers don't work today. Most companies gift full-time people in retail this holiday a paid holiday. I'm off. Um, Timbo, I don't know where you are, but that's not from my experience. When I, you know, worked retail, 4th of July very much was a day when most stores were open, and in particular restaurants as well. They may close earlier than usual, but they're definitely open. Like, right now, I tell you, you go to the mall, you go anywhere, most of the stores are open. A lot of them are doing 4th of July sales, which I think is ridiculous because I remember traditionally when I worked retail, this was not a busy day. Like, this was actually a slower day. Most people are going to be spending time with friends and relatives, cooking out and doing stuff outdoors. Why on earth are they going to go shopping, right? Uh, but regardless, retail stays open. I don't know why. <clears throat> Fucking bankrupt, working retail, and just throwing money at Phil Burnell. Sums up his fan base, man. Outside of the four or five fucking whales, the silent majority, that sums up his fucking fan base. So perfect. It's perfect. And then I love Phil's... Oh, well, on 4th of July, people spend time with their family and friends, and they cook out, and they do this. And Is that what you do on your holidays, buddy? Because... Every time I get home from a holiday, if I go see my family or do whatever, I come home and I turn the stream on and you're just there. Every fucking holiday, you're just there. Begging. Meanwhile, everybody else spends the holidays with their family and friends and cooking out and drinking and doing stuff. And you're just there. Sums up your existence as well. Sad, man. Sad. It's not even funny. It's just fucking sad. Next one's a clip. Let's go. See, Timbo Slice, I agree with you. The, tro the trolls are just annoying, dumb, and unfunny now. There was a time when, oh, we're going to pick apart Phil because he's popular on YouTube and he gets a ridiculous amount of views for not being good at a game, so let's make fun of his, you know, his, his shortcomings in a game. Or, wow, did you see, hear the stupid shit Phil said? Really uneducated about Minecraft or stuff like that. Let's call him out for it, right? Now it's just like, they, they, they literally have beaten the dead horse to the point where the dead horse is a glob of Play-Doh. And there's just nothing else to really talk about. So now they just literally make shit up. Or have to purposely spin shit to look to be something that it's not. In order to get a negative attention because there's nothing left. You know what I mean? There was a time when the stuff they said made sense and was funny. It's not anymore. It's just, it's so stupid. So the trolls are boring and beating a dead horse. Essentially making stuff up, blah, blah, blah. How about this fucking series right here, Phil? Because this has been fucking pretty entertaining as far as I'm concerned. And I seem to know a lot of people who think it's fucking entertaining too. There's a whole bunch of new wave of detractor shit coming out lately. A lot of it's good. A lot of it's good, man. So you're going to eat those fucking words just like you always do. You are going to eat those fucking words. But yeah, he's essentially admitting that he's in the toilet because detractors can't come up with anything else. He's in the fucking toilet, which is the reason why detractors can't come up with anything now. He's so fucking low in the sewers. That's essentially what he's admitting there. It's pathetic. And then I love, yeah, they have to spin shit. They just essentially are lying, spinning shit because they don't have anything else. You mean lying like fucking weddings, vacations, dying parents, your fucking health issues? That I put that in the video the other day. But what's the next hurdle where he said, oh, my health issue that I can't talk about and never brought up again conveniently. And then he introduced his girlfriend and said, oh, I've got a secret girlfriend I've been hiding. Give me money. And the next four are going to be all screenshots. That was the last video. We're getting towards the end. And now we're getting back into Timbo. Next screenshot. So this was a couple of months ago where he, he was in, uh, he was doing a stream actually. And shout out to Winter, because he gets these fucking, he gets these streams. He got the Madara one, he's got a Goken one, he's got Timbo one. 
But Timbo was in there, and without going too far into it, Timbo unmodded himself. Um, something about, I'm not like that. People were saying, why do you bootlick, basically? Why do you just believe everything he says? He says, I'm not like that. And then it says, I have not agreed on some things he did recent, and you guys were right. So, good for Timbo. Good job for waking up. Next picture. Screw it. Not worth it. Unmodded myself as Phil Mod and closed Discord. So happy ending. Good job, Timbo. The video's over. Uh, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the next picture? Because I could have sworn you came back, buddy. So he unmodded himself. And by the way, in that stream that he was doing, Anani was in there and said something about OIC was trying to dox Timbo. Because Timbo had his PayPal up. OIC tried to send him a dollar to get his information. For what reason, I have no fucking clue. Whether he's just gathering dirt on people, doing what he does. But this lasted, what, a week, two weeks, and Timbo was right back in there modding for Phil. Which is why this isn't going to last very long. But that happened. Let's go to the next picture. And this is from Kiwi Farms. This is him essentially just proving that he blocked Phil on Twitter. He unmodded himself. And let's see what the message says. This is him essentially pleading for mercy. But let's see what the message says. It says, all right, you guys win. I have blocked Phil, asked to be demodded, unmember myself from his YouTube, unsub from his channel. I'm done. Please leave me the F alone. If you had a heart, you would leave me the F alone. I understand. Hey, let's post info about that guy. But to bring my family into it that have done nothing to you. How would you feel if that was you? I for one could not sleep if I did that to someone. I'm done with Phil. I'm done with it all. Now, you know, I can sympathize with him, man. I mean, family's a whole nother matter. You know, you shouldn't have been lying, though, man. You shouldn't have been lying. You left once and then you went back to him. I hate that it had to come to this for you to get some kind of wake up call. But apparently you've been saying you've been seeing this for months. You've been trying to get away from them. Then why didn't you? Why did it have to come to this for you to leave and get away from them? And, you know, he demodded himself. He blocked Phil, whatever. I won. And this is my own opinion. My own opinion. 100% believe he sent Phil an email essentially crying to Phil. I bet he was drunk that night, but essentially crying to Phil about he, him getting docs, his family getting docs. He has to do this. I'm sorry, Phil. Essentially leaving the door open to come back. Again, we'll find out, you know, after a certain amount of time. Hopefully he really is done with him, but I just don't believe it. And let's go into the final screenshot. So he's replying on Kiwi Farms to people. He says, nope, I have a pretty good 40 hour a week job and I do value my own time and money. But hey, spending money on him is no different than someone spending all day and night in a bar drinking beer, pissing money away. I just do it in a way that at time gives me a chuckle and the answers I get from my question or asking about the CM Punk autograph he had after he said he never collected any wrestling items. <clears throat> Hopefully he does have a good 40 hour a week job. I don't fucking know. I don't care, but I, hopefully it's true for his sake. But I value my own time and money. It's a fucking lie. You don't. And spending money on him is no different than someone spending all day and night in a bar drinking beer, pissing money away. He just does it, blah, blah, blah. Here's the whole point of Timbo's section in this in this uh, video. Timbo, you don't have any idea of reality and fantasy. You're living a fantasy land with Phil Burnell, with these thoughts, modding in these people's streams, throwing money at them. A person in a bar is wasting it also, but at least they're out living. They're in reality. That's fucking real. They're with other people. They're not behind a computer screen all fucking day and night with no semblance of life, no 
no reality, no way to fucking contact anybody else, communicate with anybody else. He thinks because some thought is saying his name in a stream, maybe he mods for them that that's real life. That's not fucking real, man. That's not reality. Phil Burnell is not reality. It's not real. Nobody should ever be like Phil. That's not fucking real, man. And you weren't living a real life. This message right here more than any of them shows me you don't know what reality is. You're in fantasy land, buddy. I hate to kick you when you're down, man, but fuck. What, the, what else are we supposed to do? Two times bankrupt. And you got the nerve to say you value your time and money. Meanwhile, you're in there. What's for dinner, Phil? What's for dinner tomorrow night, Phil? What do you think about this wrestling segment, Phil? What's this? It, it, this is what all I would see going through these messages, man. Value my own time and money. You clearly didn't, dude. You don't, you don't have any semblance of reality, man. You're living in fucking fantasy land. And I hope and pray that you are done with Phil Burnell. I don't believe it, but hoping is another, another issue. An, a separate cause. I hope you're done with him. I hope you're done with the thoughts. Listen to what Kiwi Farms is telling you, dude. Unplug from the internet for a little while. Focus on yourself. Work on yourself, man. You might not be able to change what you look like, but damn, dude, you can work on yourself. And if you have a good job, you're in the right direction. But you got to get away from these thoughts and Phil Burnell. Because you're just going to bankrupt yourself again. You know, you, you've got a chance now, dude. Make a fucking change. It's not real. Phil's not real. These women aren't real, man. You're real, but you got to go outside and find it. You're not going to get it just by sitting there doing the same shit over and over. <sighs> Anyways, man. Uh, Jesus, this was a long video. Um, part 14 up will be up next week. I'm going to keep doing it, like I said, like a fucking madman. Um, one thing I did forget to say in the intro is, and maybe I did, it's been so fucking long, I don't know. Uh, thank you for the super chats. I did forget to say that last week, or for last week. Thank you for everybody who super chatted. Thank you, who does, anybody who does that again. Thank you for everything, for the support. This went too long, obviously. Um, part 14, I'm definitely going to have screenshots to lower the time down, because this was way too fucking long. Um, in the comments, post who you want covered. If somebody has an interesting suggestion, we'll cover them. Um, I got people lined up, but, you know, just like with Timbo here and Snow Carl, people um, mentioned them, nominated them, and I fucking did it. So if you got suggestions for people to cover, post them in the comments, and I'll look into them. Thank you again, Sasha, for the thumbnail. Forever chilling. Thank you again for the contribution, homie. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Marty Weed, shout out to you again. Shout out to everybody in the chat, uh, Peachy, Max, Sasha, um, everybody, uh, M. Hell, he got a new job, by the way, congratulations on your new job, buddy, that's J. Wells' cousin, M. Hell, obviously, Peachy, Dominic, uh, just everybody, Ro Jeezy, Low Level, shout out to everybody, Meta PH, Shiloh, shout out to you, homie, you're always, you're always in there chilling, uh, just shout out to everybody, I'll see y'all for part 14 next week, let's fucking go.